Paddleboarding is all about improving. And ultimately, going around that headland or seeing what's around that bend to give you that real sense of adventure and give you a perspective that you wouldn't see otherwise from the shore. Now the sport range is all about that. Maybe you're looking to upgrade, maybe you've done a few lessons and you're quite confident on a board, or perhaps you're just confident on the water and you want a board that's gonna give you that confidence and that stability, but also give you a bit of speed and allow you to put the power down as you start to get a bit more uh, experienced on the water and maybe a bit more advanced in your paddling technique. So besides me, I had the 11.3 and the 11 foot Sport. Both of these boards are available in the purple or blue colorway. Now let's start off with a slightly larger 11.3. So the 11.3, like the 11 foot, is 4.7 inches thick. And that's a real magic dimension in paddleboard dimensions. At 4.7 inches thick, it's gonna give you a nice connected feel to the water. So you're gonna feel really confident when heading out on those slightly longer paddles. It's gonna feel nice and stable and it's not gonna get knocked around by any chop or any side winds that might be out there. At 4.7 inches thick, we also incorporate a batten, which inserts down the side of the board at about one PSI when you just start inflating. And then as you inflate the board, it increases the stiffness. It can increase the stiffness by up to 40%. So if you're maybe a slightly heavier rider or maybe you're going out in slightly rougher conditions, it's really worthwhile putting those battens in. If you're a lighter rider or it's calm, flat conditions, then it's totally up to you as to whether you include them or not. Now the Sport itself, the 11.3 is 32 inches wide. That's the same width as our go-to award-winning all-round 10.6 board. So it means that you're gonna have that confidence, the experience is gonna be very similar if you have paddled one of those boards to the 11.3, but you're obviously benefiting from that extra length in the board that allows you to have this nice drawn out nose section. So by having a longer board, you've then got a nice longer nose, which allows you to have this sleeker shape. Ultimately that cuts through the water, cuts through any chop and gives you more glide. So as you start to put some power down for your paddle stroke, you're gonna get that bit further with every paddle stroke that you take in the water. You then have your carry hand at the front, right at the top there with an M6 accessories mount. So you can basically put on an action camera, GoPro and capture all of your awesome activities and adventures. And as you come down here, you've got your flat bungee system. The closest one to where you stand is fully adjustable. So you can easily tension down any kit that you want to take with you on the water. And also has this small section for bottles or for footwear and shoes, flip flops, things like that. And as well as this square cut, red embossed, deck pad. This is super cushioned deck pad. So again, if you are standing or paddling for longer distances, it's going to be nice and comfortable under your foot and it's not so harsh that it's going to start digging into your feet either. So it gives you that traction without any sort of distraction when you're paddling. In the middle here, we have a extra comfy, nice and squashy centre handle right at the centre balance point. So it means when you are carrying a board around on the shore, it's nice and comfortable and easy to do so. This board comes in at about at just over 11 kilograms, so about 24, 25 pounds. Um, and ultimately it's for riders up to about 110 kilograms, so about 240 pounds. So it's a fantastic board for giving you that confidence to go out further. It's also brilliant for people just looking to upgrade, like I say, or maybe someone coming in for the first time. On the underside, on the sport boards, we also have our single US fin a nine inch touring fin at the back there. You can customize this. The US fin system is one of the most internationally recognized fin systems in the world. So there's lots of different styles of fin depending on where you're paddling, how deep the water is and your, your style of paddling. You've also got this nice rubberized speed tail edge at the back of the board. And what that does is it stops the water as it goes on along the underside of the board. As the water hits the curved edge, it naturally wants to wrap around that curved edge. That creates turbulence, it creates drag, it creates resistance along the bottom of the board. That speed tail eliminates that by allowing a nice sharp edge for the water simply to release off the back and allows you to go a bit faster with every paddle stroke again. Now, with the 11.3, we wanted to offer something for slightly lighter, smaller riders. So riders up to about 90 kilograms, 200 pounds. And that comes in the form of the 11 foot sport. The 11 foot sport 
is slightly narrower at 30 inches wide. It still has the RSS batten, it still is a 4.7 inches thick. But at 30 inches wide, it means if you're a slightly smaller framed paddler and you have slightly shorter levers, i.e. arms and legs, it means that you're not leaning out to the side so much to paddle. So you get that confidence and you get that stability angle, but it actually, for slightly shorter riders, it does mean that you're also able to put the power down without having to lean out of your comfort zone and give yourself an extra wide stance. So with the 11 foot sport, you get everything we just talked about with the 11 to three. You've got your flat adjustable bungee on the front here. You've got your lovely traction zone at the front to orientate yourself, as well as this nice cushioned, large rail to rail deck pad. You've got your RSS battens and your US fin with speed tail. It's obviously slightly shorter. Again, in terms of agility, maneuverability, we wanted this board to feel like you're fully in control. So, in terms of being able to get the most out of your paddle sessions. Speed wise, if you're a larger rider, up to 110 kilograms, the 11.3 is that, that uh, preference, that better option. The 11 foot, slightly lighter, 90 kilograms, 200 pound riders. This board itself is 234 liters. So it does have a lot of flow, it has a nice amount of volume there. So it does mean you can take kit on the front, you can take friends on this board. It's a real nice versatile shape. And with its square tail on both of the sports, it gives you that nice wide tail space. So if you are practicing step back turns, like I say, improving your paddling techniques in different areas, maybe they're boy turns for racing, maybe you're stepping back to catch a small wave. That nice square tail not only gives you a bit of a boost onto the wave, because there's a bit of something for the wave to push against, but also makes it nice and stable to step back into a surf stance if you're that way inclined and you, and you want to progress into any surf environment. The Sport Range all come with our all-terrain backpack. So that has a continuous cord zip right around the face of the bag, making it extremely easy to get the board in and out. It has a full, super ergonomic, super comfortable backpack system on it with a waist strap to be able to take the weight of the package and the board when it's all rolled up and packed away and you're on the move. That backpack system is on the outer face, whereas on the inside face here, we also have included super rugged all-terrain wheels. So when you are traveling with the board, maybe through an airport, or maybe just down from a car park to the shore side, you've got nice, uh, easy transportability angles. On all faces, we have various grab handles to allow you to easily transport your kit wherever you may want to take it to allow you to get out there and explore. And what would a Red Paddleco board be without our trusty Titan pump. So a Titan 2 here is nice and compact, reducing the size of the pack size when in the bag. It's got folding feet, a removable handle. This pump reduces the amount of time and energy it takes to inflate your board by half. It's super quick and is the most efficient way to put in your both volume and pressure into your board just about anywhere on the planet without having to rely on electric noisy pumps or electric points to be able to attach into the board. So there you have it. Our 11.3 and our 11 foot sports. Perfect for that person looking to upgrade and take their paddling to the next level. Happy paddling.